and welcome to another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. I'm Rashida and today I'm looking out for my vegans. Yes, I have a vegan recipe. I mean vegetarians can eat it too, but I'm making jerk mushrooms. So if you guys go back, I actually have a recipe that I made for my jerk marinade. So in this recipe, I'm going to be using my jerk marinade, but instead of making something like jerk chicken or jerk pork, whatever, I'm going to make jerk mushrooms. Yes, jerk mushrooms. Jerk mushrooms, they're good because they're meaty, they're filling, they have a lot of flavor, and it's a great vegan entree. So. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I'm using to make this recipe, okay? So right now we have some mushrooms. I have some cremini and just some regular food service mushrooms. I have some diced red onions. I have some bell peppers, a clove, a clove of garlic. I have my famous jerk marinade. Just putting it out there. Um, some olive oil, some soy sauce, and some seasoning. I just have like my regular seasoning blend. Like I told you guys, I love smoked paprika. I put it in like almost everything because it doesn't have any like high sodium and it's very, very flavorful. And then I have some black pepper and some garlic powder. So I'm gonna put that all in it, okay? So you guys are ready to get right into it, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is add some olive oil to your pan. You don't have to go heavy on olive oil. Um, I'm using regular olive oil. You don't have to do like extra virgin or anything like that. I'm just using regular olive oil. And then I'm going to add my onions. I'm gonna just let that saute. And then I'm gonna turn my fire up a little bit more because I really wanna make sure that my pan is hot. Okay. So now, while that's going, I'm gonna cut some bell peppers quickly. Nothing fancy, this is a quick recipe like if you're coming from work and you're tired, and if you're a lifetime vegan, you can do this. If you're just trying to be vegan for a week, just to try yourself, see if you like it, you can make this recipe. But it's really simple, it's delicious, it's healthy, and I, I like it. So now, while that's sauteing, I'm gonna also add in my bell peppers. I'm gonna mince some garlic. So now I'm going to add that to the pan as well, okay? And I'm just going to mix that all together, let it saute, you don't have to do much to it. Very simple, very simple. Again, tell you guys, if you work with, if you work, which most of us do, prepare all your vegetables in advance, freeze them, so you come, you just throw it in a pot and you're done. So now with mushrooms. I know some people like wash their mushrooms. You shouldn't wash them. Like literally get a damp paper towel or like a cloth and you're just gonna clean the top of it off. Like that. These are already clean, but if you wash them, what will happen is that water will get inside of it and it will just be like really, really soggy and like tasteless. So don't wash your mushrooms, just clean them off with a with cloth. I know some of you will probably be like, oh my God, no, I'm so used to washing them, I didn't know. Sorry, you've been doing it wrong. Do not wash your mushrooms. Okay? So now we're just gonna slice those up. And again, it's a really, really great, meaty, healthy recipe. And it doesn't have to be perfect slices. I know I like to make sure that I always include everyone and I always have something for everyone, even like on my catering menus, I have like a vegetarian section, I have like a vegan section, I have a gluten free section, and so I was really excited when I'm like, you know what, let me do something for the vegan. So, my vegans who are watching, don't think I forgot about you. So, now that that's sauteed, 
We're gonna add the mushrooms right in there. Okay, add that all in there, like that. And already, seriously, you can smell it. I didn't even add my seasoning. I didn't even add my marinade. I didn't add the soy sauce yet. And already. And then, this is a great recipe for if you have like a whole bunch of leftover vegetables, like in your refrigerator and you don't want it to spoil. Because literally, when you leave stuff in your fridge, and you throw it away, you throw away your money. So why not make like a stir fry or like a huge stir fry to last you for like two days, especially if you live alone. Just use your vegetables, throw them in a pan and saute them, right? So that's going, you can see that I didn't put a lot of oil and it's perfectly fried and it's gonna to continue to just to saute. Okay, so I can leave that alone. So now at this point, you're gonna see that the mushrooms have cooked down. They cooked down a little bit, they're not all the way there. So at this point, I'm going to add some of my dry seasoning because whenever you're cooking stuff, you wanna either season from the base or season halfway through and then when you're finished, again, you wanna season it at the end to see how everything tastes. When you're, you're like stir frying. So now I'm gonna add it because it's not fully cooked and I really want all the seasoning to be in there. I want the flavors to like merge together, okay? Guys, look how yummy these mushrooms look. So I've been sauteing them for like a couple of minutes now and the smell in the room is crazy right now. So now we're going to add my famous jerk marinade to this. Mmm, oh god. Remember, it has a little bit of spice in it, so go light if you're not like a spicy person. But this is something that I would eat like over rice. It's really good. Or over a salad. You know what I mean? See how like it moistens everything up? And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of soy sauce, tiny bit just because we want it to be flavorful. And a little bit of gravy master, just a tiny bit. I'm actually even gonna put it in the cork, cause I don't want it to, all right. All right, now we're just gonna mix that up. Yum, yum, yum. This is so good. I like. You know how Wendy Williams is like, my mouth is watering. This would be like a good dish that Wendy would like because she's a vegan, if you watch that show. So now I'm just gonna put this on my plate. Right, so there you have it, another recipe coming from Miss Goody's Kitchen. Today we did the jerk marinade mushrooms and I did it especially for my vegan. So I really, really hope you guys try it. Let me know how you like it. If you're not vegan, it's fine. You can eat this too. Like, go ahead, try it. If you want to take it to the next level, I dare you to take these mushrooms and marinate it overnight. And the next morning or the next night when you make it, you'll be, for a big, you'll be in for a big surprise. So go ahead and try it. I want you guys to like, comment, and share, and tell me how it went. So let me just try this because it smells delicious. I have a little bit of my jerk marinade on the side. Like, if I had this, and I'm gonna say with some rice, no one could tell me that it really wasn't like meaty. Like it's really, really meaty, it's filling. If you feel like you wanna take a break from meat, here's a chance for you to do it. So let me know how you guys like it, all right? Take care.